Hi everyone, today I want to show you the basics of programming a VexIQ robot. I'm going to be using the VexIQ Hero Bot as an example. First, you have to go to codeiq.vex.com. This is where you will be writing your program. Next, grab a cable and plug one end into your laptop or computer and plug the other end into your robot's controller. Don't plug it into the robot's brain because it's going to limit how far you can test drive later on. Next, turn on your controller and make sure the controller connects to your brain. You can tell when it's connected when a little controller shaped icon pops up at the top of the brain screen. After that, you have to connect your computer to the controller. So click on the little brain icon up here, click connect, continue, and then the lower ID number. If you have a Chromebook, this might look a little different. So You'll already have this little controller icon at the top in the beginning, and that's the button you're going to use to connect the controller to the computer. Now you have to go to the little devices panel on the side to add a controller. You don't have to do anything with it for now, so just click on done. Then add a two motor drivetrain because that's how many motors the drivetrain of this robot has. It's really important that you don't mess up the left and right motors because it might mess up your whole entire driving system. So here's how you're going to do it. So when you take the robot with its back facing you and the front away from you, then this side will be considered the left and that side should be considered the right. To figure out which motor corresponds with which port, you have to find the cable that connects the motor to the brain. So this cable connects it to port 12, while on the right side, it, you can trace it back and find that it corresponds to port 7. Now, back at the program, you can just say port 12 for the left side, 7 for the right side, and make sure you don't select a gyro, because I don't think we need that for now. Again, this might look a little different if you have a Chromebook. But for now, the drivetrain is done. Next up, you have this elevator system that lifts and lowers the claw. Again, with the whole motor thing, you can find that it connects back to port um, 10. So back at the program, you're just going to add another motor. And you're going to put that at port 10. I'm just going to rename that the elevator because that's what I want to call it. And done. So there's also this claw here that's used for grabbing onto the pins. And the motor for that, it connects all the way back to port 4. So in the program again, add another just singular motor at port 4, of course, and I'm going to rename that the claw, and that's it. Now the last thing I'm going to add is this touch LED. It connects to port 3 over here, so back at the program, I'm going to add another device and add the touch LED. Port 3, and I'm going to rename that the LED for short and click done. Also, sorry, but I'm missing the distance sensor and the optical sensor, but you can also add those in a similar manner. So the last thing you have to do before trying out your program is fixing the controller thing. So these circles right here are the joysticks, and clicking on those will help you determine how you can use the drivetrain. I personally like this mode the best, where on the left hand side I go back and forth, but on the right hand side I can turn. So I'm going to use the top left buttons to control the elevator, while on the other side I'm going to use that to control the claw. And once that everything is finally set up now, you can go to the top and click on the download button. And you can start the program from here. So
So now I'm going to test drive by trying driving, oh, forward and backward. I think it's going the opposite direction of what I want it to right now. So that's definitely a problem. Yeah, because when I try to drive forward, it's driving backwards and so on. So back at this program, I'm just going to click on the drivetrain and change the direction of the arrow. I also did forget to put a little gear ratio into here. And I'm pretty sure it's 2 to 1 for the specific robot. It's going to be really important not to forget the gear ratio for the autonomous programming. Also, don't forget to rename your program and save it so you don't lose track of it later on. And once you have all of that, you can just click on download and try test driving it again. So I'm just going to try driving it again now, and yeah, it's driving forward and backward like I want it to, and it's also turning the right way. So I think that fixed the problem. I'm just going to test out the rest of the functions, and I think it's working right. Each button brings it up or down, depending on which one, and you can also change that later on if you want to in the code. Um, I think it's also working perfectly fine for the claw. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more instructional videos.